ahead Max and, and Irma there, based on the real life Max and Irma von Sachnick, who owned a small restaurant in German Village in Columbus, Ohio, back in 1972. During the past 28 years, the restaurant chain has grown, really grown. We've grown to 55 restaurants now. Um, we're in 10 different states, and we've got about 19 markets, which are sort of like cities or areas. So we're growing really, really quickly. The new Max and Irma's is on Hurstbourne Avenue near Tellersville Road. The walls are decorated with interesting items. The basic concept here, hey, good food and a family-friendly atmosphere. That includes an all-you-can-eat Sunday bar and a whole lot more. It's a potpourri for everyone. I mean, we have burgers, steaks, pastas, seafood entrees. This place is going to be very popular. Their menu is extensive, and one of the new things that they're doing here is a new trend that's developing in our area. Before you leave your house, you call here, you say, hey, we're on our way. They take your name, they put it on a waiting list, and hopefully by the time you get here, your name is at the top of the list. When you arrive, you'll find food for light eaters, like the Santa Fe salad and warm garlic breadstick. If you're hungry, try the grilled pork chops or the Cajun shrimp and pasta. Or Portobello chicken penny. And to four burger lovers, there's the infamous garbage burger with nine toppings. This is a must try. Among the many desserts, how about this go bananas cream pie? Now here's a dining out checklist. Max and Irma's is handicapped accessible. There's plenty of parking. They take those call before you leave reservations. There is a children's menu, and prices range from $4.99 to $14.99. Bob Sakola, WHAS 11 News.